Sorry about that, you guys. I had to pause for just a second. On the right hand side, we have four irons, six oxygens. So we have another two here. And then we have one sulfur. Or one sulfur. Now, this we can multiply by something to get what we need. Now, notice we need to have eight sulfurs. And so if we put an eight here, let's see what happens. And so I'm just going to erase the right hand side for these. We added an eight as our coefficient. And that one will give us eight sulfurs. And so we know that one's right. And now we have six oxygens from the first album, from the first uh, element. And then eight times two will give us 16. Six plus 16 is 22. And so now it's balanced. And then we just need to do the same thing for the second equation. Here we have hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur. And so we start off with two hydrogens here, two nitrogens, and six oxygens. This gives us another six, three times H2 hydrogens, and then three sulfurs. Now on the right hand side we have two nitrogens, we have two oxygens. We want to figure out what number needs to go here, and we have three sulfurs. So well I think there's a typo here. Pull this from the textbook too. H2O, it's water. Look at the same reaction. That's strange. This should be H2O. I noticed it was the same reaction. I didn't notice it was written incorrectly. That's the only way you can balance it, you guys. So what we should wind up needing is to have a total of eight hydrogens. We're going to need a four in front of here. That'll give us eight hydrogens. And then another four oxygens, which gives us six. Right, and so the actually correct balanced form of the equation is right here. And the textbook made a mistake on the second part. And so that's a strange thing. I don't know what just happened there with the eraser. But I want y'all to see that that's a textbook mistake. That O is missing. Practice this sum and you'll get the hang of it. The idea is just to change the coefficients on each side. On the ones that are given in your lab assignments, it's going to require more than just one coefficient change. So you just have to keep up with the numbers as you're changing them. Some of them are a lot easier than others. And some of them may be balanced when you start. And so you just have to check and kind of go through. Um, if you can balance any of them, you'll get extra points on that extra credit assignment. If you can balance all of them, you'll get you know more, more points. If you have questions about this, please let me know. I'll try to help. Hopefully there aren't these types of mistakes in the problems um, outside of the textbook. But if there's anything else that I can help you with, you guys, please let me know.